Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and I hope everybody is doing well, everybody is staying healthy and the kids are doing absolutely fine. Uh, okay, so for today's video, if you're looking for something that is fun, engaging, interactive, but at the same time, something that you can prep in less than five minutes and can be adapted in many, many, many ways for age group from three to 10. This is what you guys have to watch. I am sharing with you a simple and a pretty cool hack that I figured it out a couple of days back. I should say primarily like three days back. Um, I have to like give you a little uh, tip around it. So I was in the kitchen working and my husband was on the phone on a work call. This was my cooking time, okay? And uh, because I was like on the schedule, I had to like finish up my work and I had to go back to the workstation. I had this 30 minutes of my time wherein I had to cook, finish, clean and get out of the kitchen. However, his call was just not stopping. So I, of course, I um, I chopped everything. I put everything in the uh, on the gas to boil. But I had to use the mixer grinder, okay? And not to use it. I couldn't start it because he was on the call. By the time he was on the call, I did the dishes. So everything in the kitchen was done except like me mixing up. And I was making actually a smoothie for Vivan for his breakfast, okay? Because this was like early morning. And we I was not able to do it. You guys, you know what I did? I was thinking I have to still like do a cleanup on one of my drawers. So I opened up, I saw there were like so many pages and there was a pretty cool thing. You want to see what and what did I do out of that? So stay tuned. Let me show it to you very quick. Okay guys, so this is what I found. I found a pretty cool calendar. But you must be thinking what is like so cool about calendar, right? Uh, I went to this place last year in December and these guys sent me a calendar and out of the blue, I think I have never used it. It was just right there and I picked it up and I was about to throw it, okay? But before I threw and because I had this extra time on my hand, I opened the pages and I thought, this is pretty cool. I have to use it. So now guys, before I show you something, go back in your memory and think. Do you guys have some extra desktop calendars, wall calendars, any year? All you need to find is an old calendar in your house. And if you're ready, I'm going to show you how you can transform the calendar into such a pretty cool activity that either you can divide it to do it in 12 days, you can divide it to do it in seven days, or like you can like just, just make this and whenever you are busy, you have to just pick this up. Pick up any calendar and give it to your kid and they can solve it. Okay, so are you ready to see it? Let's get going. So you have all these numbers here. Now for the younger kids, okay, this is a pretty cool way of identifying numbers. So when I say like three-year-old, two-year-old, if you're looking at numbers, you can say number one, okay? And then you can circle number one at all the four spots that you have here. The number two, the number three, the number four, and move on. Or what you can do is if the kids who are doing skip counting, right, you can hide the numbers, okay, by putting a button on... on um, on, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> by uh, alternating numbers, you could do skip counting by five. So that's how you can actually improvise using one calendar through like so many activities. Okay, let me just show you now what I have done. Okay, so this is primarily addition. If your kids are just starting to uh, add, then I would say just go like one at a time. Now what f I have done for Vivan is like he needs to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 and going on and then after doing the total he needs to write it here because remember guys Vivan is seven and a half okay so how you are going to improvise it for your kids is by adding just 1 plus 2 okay and then you can say 1 plus 3 1 plus 4 1 plus 5 1 plus 6 and like that you can just make uh, like the plus sign is definitely there you can make a equal to sign and they can write the answer here but remember if your kids are very very young this is a great way of over and over repetition of numbers okay and spotting of numbers skip counting all right missing number what comes before what comes after so with one 
particular calendar you could do for the younger kids now for the elder kids okay let me show you another version of what i've done here now what i've done i've taken another edition and now i'm going to be going by columns he needs to add by column by column so i have plus and then i have minus two so first they're adding and then they're subtracting here he's subtracting here subtracting here subtracting here and then he's subtracting here as well so you have i'm using first i use the whole grade for edition all right then i have used by columns here i have done by rows okay so you are working on numbers in a different way way but every time when you're using the calendar you're using it in a different way in terms of just doing maths and trust me guys you really need your kids to practice maths every day i've always told you like addition is something that will never go out you have to keep doing addition in different different ways but this is such a great way of not making an activity on the paper not putting in so much of effort the calendar is already there somebody has already printed and gifted it to you all you have to do is like upcycle recycle and it's ready for you right okay let me show you another one now what i've done is i have done grouping of numbers so 1 plus 2 plus 3 he needs to write here then 4 into 5 i've added a multiplication bit here so you could add uh, for bigger kids you can add another number like 14 into 15 right you can add a numerator here or you could add a number before or after for making it difficult for your child so i have done 4 into 5 6 into 7 8 into 9 and if you would see i have gone gradually i'm going up right so first just addition then addition by columns then addition plus subtraction by rows now i've added addition plus a factor of multiplication because i don't want vivan to feel overwhelmed and uh, i'm going to be giving it one sheet at a day okay but i'm going to be doing it alternate days and i'm going to find more calendars so that i can do more activities like this so guys if you really think you're connecting to this and if you think it's a pretty cool hack please do leave a comment let me know if you've ever done this before and if you have any cool ideas please share it with everybody and if you're watching this video for the first time and you're a new subscriber please drop in and say hi um okay let me show you more stuff that i've done now what i've done i have done multiplication by taking numbers up and down right here okay so earlier they were doing it in terms of rows now they're doing in terms of columns all right and then there is a lot of addition and subtraction going on at the same time so they are he's basically revising three concepts by doing one sheet and he must be it must be fun right because there is a scientific research you always have all these facts about some kind of holidays some kind of things um on the on the calendar and there's always a picture right so that makes it more interactive and more engaging definitely um uh, then this is primarily a lot of addition and subtraction that i've done here and there was something pretty cool about it then i have groups of multiplication plus addition so this is 4 into 5 you have to get what is 4 into 5 and then whatever the answer is you have to add plus 6 and then you need to write it here the same thing here you have 7 into 8 and then you have to add plus 9 plus 10 and then you need to write here so the numbers are getting bigger okay and uh, the kids who are more than nine you can definitely the parents could make it into a division program all right you can add bigger numbers you can write like 17 or like make it 28 or 27 into 28 so there they will have bigger numbers and you have always with calendar a lot of extra pages where you can uh, they can do the rough work or, or they can always keep a copy for the rough work okay now what i've done i the example that i was giving it to you i put it here i have made this into addition program so like i've added there was 19 already so 16 plus 10 right you can add bigger numbers but i just wanted to keep it engaging so i have 5 um, into 8 but in this format right i had 15 into 20 there will be some carry forward as well so like the, these are uh, double digit but with three columns so he needs to add and then he needs to do a carry forward and write here and then you have subtraction as well again a lot of multiplication now i have multiplication with double digit here okay because we have been doing multiplication in double digit with vivan so i thought this would be a cool way so 1 into 1 2 into 2 3 into 3 15 into 15 23 into 23 24 into 24 he's going to take a lot of time but i think gradually if you will see i am stepping up in terms of difficulties as the months are passing by then i have repeated addition which is part of multiplication but he's doing this so he needs to add every time like 8 plus 8 plus 8 and, and they're all different so if you think there are like 9 here they'll be like 8 here like maybe 6 here like 7 here or 9 here so they're all different ones so he needs to be very very careful while he's doing it 
Okay, now this is a coding element that I've added, which is red means plus. So he needs to add all the numbers that are in red total. Black is multiplication, purple is minus. All right, and you can add uh, factors if you want, like fractions, sorry, or division as well. Okay, now this is um, multiplication plus addition, which is diagonal and horizontal. So here he has 220 and this is uh, he needs to add together because this is plus so he's, he's going to add 20 plus 12 here then 20 plus 14 here okay but the answer for this one he needs to write right away here okay like 8 into 2 if you see here so he's gonna do 8 into 2 and the answer is gonna come either here or here wherever he wants to the same thing is here uh, let me show it to you. It says 24 plus 31. Whatever the answer is, then minus 25. They need to write it here. So a lot of pretty cool combinations that I have made. Guys, do let me know what do you think about it. There are so many options that I've shared with you and uh, definitely can be adapted to um, any age. You can make it difficult. All you have to do is find all those old calendars in the house and upcycle them before throwing it off. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, and definitely share this video with your friends and family. I would be happy to see a lot of calendars being reused. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.